Let's take a look at some word problems. The table below shows the prices of some candles sold in a shop. Short candles $2.50 per box There are 7 short candles in each box. Long candles $3.20 per box There are 5 long candles in each box. Part A Kelly needed 17 short and 3 long candles. How much did she have to pay at least? Part B Sally bought 21 more long candles than short candles and spent less than $50. How much did she pay for the candles? Part A 17 divided by 7 is equal to 2 remainder 3. To have 17 short candles and each box contains 7 short candles, the minimum boxes of short candles needed is 3. To have 3 long candles and each box contains 5 long candles, the minimum boxes of long candles needed is 1. The cost of 3 boxes of short candles is 3 multiplied by $2.50, which is $7.50. The cost of one box of long candles is $3.20. Therefore, the least she had to pay for 17 short and 3 long candles is the sum of $7.50 and $3.20. And the answer is $10.70. Part B Since Sally bought 21 more long candles than short candles and long candles only come in multiples of 5, the number of long candles bought must be a multiple of 5 and 21 more than a multiple of 7. By listing, we can see that this option fits that condition, which is 14 short candles and 35 long candles. Next, to find the number of boxes of short candles bought, we divide 14 by 7, which gives us 2. To find the number of boxes of long candles bought, we divide 35 by 5, which gives us 7. Therefore, all in all, the total cost of these candles is the sum of the cost of two boxes of short candles, $5, and the cost of seven boxes of long candles, $22.40 She paid $27.40 for the candles.